welcome to Tell Me About It. I'm Stacey Spinato, sitting in beautiful downtown Rock Hill, getting ready to speak with Linda Dahart, the events coordinator for St. Patty's Day on March the 17th. We'll be back in just a few moments. Dr. Nan Say, mobile veterinarian. House calls are a wonderful experience for animals and their people. No riding the car, no stress, no barking dogs in the waiting room, no waiting room at all. The next time your animal needs to see the vet, call Dr. Nan at 1-888-55-DR-NAN. Welcome back. I am sitting in downtown Rock Hill with Linda Dyerhart. She is here talking to us today about St. Patty's Day coming up on March the 17th. It's going to be a grand old time. So good morning. How are you? Uh, I am well. Thank you. Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning. Good day. Have a great day like this. <laughs> I hope so. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So St. Patty's Day is coming up. Yes. All the green will be out That's and right. the streets will be live with It'll festivities. It'll be terrific. Yay. From four to, and it's on St. Patrick's Day, Day Thursday, Day. all along Main Street. The Old Town Association is co-sponsor and um, we have just um, unbelievably fun events for the entire family of all ages. So that'll be great. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the activities that's going to be okay. going on. Okay. Well, we'll have a stage with music going. Mm -hmm. We have um, the federal, uh, the federal brothers and friends, and mm -hmm. that's going to be Michael Federal and friends, and that's a great Irish and blues band. There'll be a lot of fun, and then Sterling Bridge, which is uh, Celtic rock, mm -hmm. and bagpiper with them. We'll have uh, the two schools. Um, they're really considered the two best um, Irish dance schools in the southeast, Rink and Heron and Walsh Kelly School of Irish Dance. So we'll have the dancers on stage. Yeah. People love yeah. to see them all dressed up sure. in their sure. dresses. And you have to say Rink and Heron, Rink and Heron five times <laughs> just to see how it flows, uh, especially <laughs> after you drink the beer. <laughs> yeah, and and this, then there'll be a lot of um, Irish vendors. So we have some great Irish vendors. We have some terrific Irish foods. So we'll have um, one vendor doing uh, corned beef and cabbage. with bangers and mash, mm -hmm. we have uh, fish and chips, and oh, some terrific, um, you know, some of the vendors will have Irish sweaters, Irish scarves, uh, Irish jewelry. So Souvenirs. People, to yeah, take souvenirs out. will be some terrific t-shirts. So. Yeah. Is this open, is this a free event, or is this for? Free event, and it's going from four to nine on St. Patrick's Day, so just, um, a lot of fun for everyone. A lot of dancing in the streets. Oh, yeah. dancing and singing, <laughs> yes, the whole gamut. Go. And then also, we're sitting in front of the um, you know, we're sitting in front of the Children's Museum, and there they're going to have extended hours from five to seven with activities for children and crafts and coloring. So that'll be fun too. Yeah. So all ages can come out yes, and enjoy it. Yes, exactly. Yeah, very good, very good. Yeah. How many people usually attend this event? Well, this uh, this is the first year that I've got, you know gotten okay. involved in this. So we expect people to come from all over. We've very had calls good. from people, you know, surrounding counties, and people are looking for a good time. You don't have to be Irish. They just want to get out. And they've had cabin fever. I mean, March, sure. you've been stuck in with all the cold weather. People are like, let's party. So this is the <laughs> Get perfect. us out. And it's fun. The whole the whole excitement and music is contagious. People, you just can't help but there have a go. good time. And everybody has to have their green on. Well, I see you're wearing yeah. it. Wearing the got green. Got the green on. And life is good. <laughs> so where can people go? What, what, do you have a website where people can get in contact with you? Yes, they could go to onlyanoldtown.com. That'll tell them a little about the whole festival and what's going on. And... Um, as I said, it's it's something that um, it's a great area to have a festival. Everyone's real excited about it, and um, I think people have a good time. They'll just come out out and have dinner or whatever they want to do. It'll be fun. Well, I know I'll have a good time. So thank you again yes. for being with us today, and we'll see you soon. Well, thank you. Okay.